look, I would favor total transparency. Uh, so the contributions that are given are, have to be disclosed. That's Governor Mike DeWine speaking about dark money. His comments coming as both taxpayers and lawmakers work to process this alleged bribery scandal. John Monk spoke to an expert today on the subject to clarify what dark money actually is. In Ohio, there is a limit to how much money a person or group can directly donate to an elected official's political campaign. But there is no donation limit if the money is coming from a nonprofit and that nonprofit is not required to show where that money originally came from. This dark money system is in place to protect the identities of donors who for whatever reason want to anonymously donate to a political party or elected officials campaign. But Ian Vanderwalker with the Brennan Center for Justice says the system has become a hotbed for special interests to get elected officials to vote in their favor with little to no oversight. The voters don't have to hold the elected official accountable for saying you're taking this money uh, from this special interest and then going and doing something that's to their advantage. And nobody even knows about it. And because election campaigns at the state level cost less money than for a federal position, Vanda Walker says dark money is more commonly used to influence state regulations. These nuclear companies were getting billions of dollars in, ba in bailouts versus allegedly spending tens of millions of dollars to influence the legislature. Of course, that's a better deal for them. Vanda Walker says he and his colleagues at the Brennan Center have never seen a dark money scandal as large as the one currently being investigated in Ohio. And he says the only way to stop this kind of activity is to change the nonprofit donor policy to better track where the money originally comes from. Your sort of run of the mill influence buying can also happen through these kinds of dark money groups without breaking laws, uh, but, w but still with preventing voters from holding people accountable. The Ohio House is scheduled to make a formal vote to remove Larry Householder from his speaker position at 10 a.m. Thursday morning. The motion would need 50 votes to pass and would take effect immediately. I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.